Hey everyone, we're the Groovy Groundwater Group and welcome to our third video. Today we're going to be learning how to build a center pivot, the kind used for irrigating crops by agricultural producers. Many of these center pivots run in rural areas and rely on groundwater. It's really important that they don't draw too much, just like everyone else. But it's also important that they have access to groundwater because they grow us food and crops are used for many other things. Here's what you're going to need to build your center pivot. You'll need a bendy straw that you can bend into an L, buttons, a needleless oral syringe, two rubber bands, two pipe cleaners, a section of tubing, and then hot glue or super glue, clay, a thumbtack, electrical tape, and scissors. First, you're going to bend the straw into an L shape. The short length represents the pivot point, and the long length represents the arm that actually irrigates the crops. Next, you're going to take the thumbtack and poke four holes evenly spaced along the top of the straw. This represents the nozzles on a real life central pivot. Now, you'll plug the long end of your straw with clay. This will help keep the pressure in your straw to push water out of the nozzles you just poked. Well, Frank, you did a really good job with that. Like a king. I don't know. What do you think a king's favorite form of precipitation is? Oh, rain. Alright, next we're going to take our pipe cleaners and bend them in half. Once you have your pipe cleaners bent in half, like so, you're going to put them over the top of the straw. Then you're going to take your rubber band and you're going to wrap along the lower part to stabilize it. Once you have them wrapped around your straw properly like this, you can take a scissors and trim the excess so it's not so tall. Trim it about halfway of the pipe thing. Once you've trimmed your pipe cleaners, you can take your buttons and your glue and glue the buttons to the pipe cleaners to represent the wheels of the center pivot. Now that you have your wheels on, you can see how a center pivot moves across the field by holding the base of the straw and moving it in an arc, like this. We're going to make this work next by showing how the center pivot pulls water from the ground and uses the pressure to get water out of the nozzles and water the crops. We can make this work by inserting the clear tubing into the short end of the straw. If your tube and your straw don't have compatible sizes, you can make a watertight seal with clear or electrical tape. Next, you can take your syringe and fill it with water. Okay. Now that your syringe is filled with water, you can attach it to the other end of the tubing down here. Remember, if you can't get a tight seal, you can just use some electrical. Now before you do the next step, you're going to want to put down some paper towels or napkins or something to soak up the water. Are you ready? Now comes the fun part. Take your syringe and gently push the water through until you see it coming out of the straw. Alright, we did it. We made our center pivot. Now we're going to modify them a little bit. Some center pivots have on the end what is called an end gun, and this is a nozzle that is designed to reach the far edges of the field. So just poke a hole in the long end of your straw 
with the thumbtack that you used earlier to poke the holes along the top. Now use the syringe to push water back through again. As you do it this time, pay attention to see if you need more water or more pressure to make the end gun work. These principles translate directly to how center pivots require more water or pressure when they pull water in real life. <laughs> so there you have it. Take a picture of your center pivot and send it to us on Facebook to be entered in the prize to win a pollinator house. Over the last three videos, we've looked at the basics of groundwater and how pulling water out or contaminating it affects people's wells and irrigation systems. We want to thank the Makatawa Water Festival again for letting us be a part of this event, and we want to thank all of you for watching. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm just going to go home, kick back, watch some running water online. What? what? Like to watch live streams. <laughs>